Yeah, I, I, I think I mentally struggled with the whole, you know, the first, you know, the first time becoming a, a Super Rugby player. Um, you know, I remember when I first walked in there, getting all the kit, you know, there was such a good buzz and, and getting all that money as well. I didn't know how to, uh, you know, process it all, you know, and how do I put this, I didn't have a plan, you know, because yeah. before that it was just like train, do what the trainer told you, but I didn't know how much prep I needed to do outside of rugby going into it. You know, like I needed to sleep better, I needed to eat better, I needed to do my rehab. You know, I need to stay up, I need to learn the game plan, all those things. Because before, you know, I'd just wake up, stay up all night, watch TV, whatever, turn up the training, really tired. And, you know, I didn't know how much those things affected the way I performed and the way that I trained and and how much that impacted the coach's choices, you know, to not picking me, you know, mm -hmm. so those sort of things. So I had to learn that the hard way. And on top of that, you know, getting injured and, and playing club rugby as well. and. You know, I, I really enjoyed my time playing club rugby, you know, because I enjoyed it, I had fun, you know, so it was a good thing to just be playing with normal boys and not have that pressure, you know, so but that was one thing I learned was, you know, my preparation and, and the process, mm. you know, I think that's where it first started for me. Yeah, so you had one year of the Crusaders and now you had opportunity to go to Melbourne or was... Did you, what happened there with that, that move to Australia in terms of, um, you know, I'm not going to, the All Black Dream, was it still there or what, I guess, yeah, what was the motivations behind moving to Australia or opportunities? Yeah, obviously I didn't have much opportunities at the time, you know, it was either stay back and play ITM or do wider training school with the Crusaders and... Uh, the Melbourne Rebels came in with a two-year contract and some decent money, so I thought, why not, you know, go and, and chance my arm over there, so, um, you know, left New Zealand, I was really nervous, first time, sort of living away from home, home, like properly, and once I got over there, it was, felt for me like it was a fresh start, you know, just to get into pre-season and, Get over those the last three or four years that you know that have been hasn't worked out for me so I thought I'd go over there and and just you know give it a fresh start a fresh go and, and see what happens. So we, were you trying to play for Australia at that time? I was just trying to play to be honest just just trying to get a good starting spot and then and then go from there but internationally I didn't really have any uh, aspirations you know. Yeah what was so the, the goal was just to try and get a starting spot in a super team and or were the international goals at that time or did no, you have goals no for me at the time it was just to play you know it was to start for for the rebels and to get consistent game time because i haven't i've done all these trainings but i haven't you know had much chance to put it into action and obviously two years of playing at rebels i didn't the same thing happened, I think, didn't get the opportunity that I thought I would have. Um, the coaches didn't have trust in, in the way that I played, they thought it was too risky and and all of that and I guess that really knocked my confidence back as well but at the same time I was still training hard, you know, I wasn't, um, I was in a, a pretty good place to be honest, I, I was pretty happy where, where I was at, I was living up in Melbourne. I was trying to stay in the moment, you know, like not too, not thinking too far ahead and and thinking, oh yeah, this is me doing weights now. I'm just going to get this over and done. So it, doing that helped me gather a bit of momentum in the way that I was training, you know, and it made me a lot happier rather than thinking too far ahead. And, mm. Yeah.